Okay guys, um, welcome to the show. It's me again, Paul P. I'm here in Lijas Lechon, Baclaran, which is technically their main branch. Wait, let me fix the camera a bit. There. Nope. There. Much better. So, I'm here in Lijas Lechon, the main branch in Baclaran, because I decided to do a vlog here. One, because I've been craving for lechon when I was in Boracay and there was no lechon. So, <laughs> the funny thing here, I'll give you a little, bit, a little bit of background, okay? When I was in elementary in Colegio San Agustin, and teacher would ask, guys, what would you like to be when you grow up? I would always make the joke, ah, ma'am, 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 I'll do the, I'll be a model for Lijas Lechon. Little did I know that my classmate in that same class was the daughter of the owner of Lijas Lechon. So, I don't think she's here right now, but happy 50, 53rd anniversary, Lid and Tita. <laughs> More power to you guys. So, I'm here to check out their food. I already bought a kilo of lechon to take home for my mom. And I'll have a few items that they are serving here. And let's get on with the review. See ya. Okay. So here's the food that I got. First of all, they gave me a complimentary soup of sinigang. Sinigang is a tamarind broth soup. Sometimes also made sour via guava or miso. And then I have ordered the pork blood stew or dinuguan. I'm kind of scared because I can see a big piece of liver right on top. I'm not a fan of liver, but still I'm going to give this a try. It's usually eaten with puto. And here's their lechon. Look at that glistening skin. I also got a crab dish, which is crab relleno. Technically, it's stuffed crab carapace or shredded crab stuffed in the carapace and there I, I thought i thought it was lumpiang shanghai but it's actually fish lumpia and it comes with their sweet and sour sauce so let's start this and start devouring our meals okay guys let's start with our first dish which is their fish lumpia i'm kind of skeptical about this uh, I actually ate one of them already but my camera was the food camera was not shooting or was not recording so I have to do it again so this is their fish lumpia guys look at it nice and crispy nice and golden all the way through it's, it looks like lumpia Shanghai guys we'll give it a try without the sauce first Okay. The skin is really, the wrapper is really nice and crispy. The filling is not nice and savory. I think they just use salt and pepper on this. But the use of fish instead of pork is nice. It's a bit healthier. Well, it's still deep fried though. But still, better alternative to pork. Now we'll give this one a try with a uh, sauce. Look at that. Their sauce is a bit thin though. But still coats really well. Mm. They used a sweet chili sauce. I thought it was a sweet and sour sauce, but it's a sweet chili sauce. It has a bite at the back. Kind of sweating already, but it's nice. It actually complements the flavor of the, the fish and the filling. And anything deep fried is always good with sweet and sour sauce. Okay, so I'll move on to the next dish right after I take this last bite. 
Ooh, look at that. Mm. That was good. Okay. So let's move on to to the dinuguan. Okay, guys, this is the dinuguan. I'm gonna get my spoon from my plate. Okay, let's explain this. We use every part of the pig. In my country, in the Philippines, we use every single part of the pig, including the blood. So this is a blood stew. Look how thick it is, guys. Oh yeah, that's compared to the other dinuguans that I've had. This is really thick. And by the looks of it, they use liver and pork bits. Okay. The liver part, I'm scared of. I'm not a fan of liver. It's mostly the texture that I don't like. But traditional dinuguan has liver and innards in it. So <sighs> this most likely is traditional. So we're going to get, we're going to give it a try. We'll start with the pork bits first. Oh, by the way, dinuguan is made by sauteing garlic onions and then adding the pork. Then it's like basically adobo, and then you add the pig's blood. Then you let it stew for a while until it gets tender. Okay. Look at that. Ooh -wee. Okay, I thought that was pork, but that was the liver. Flavor-wise, it's really good. It's a bit on the spicy side though. I, I wasn't expecting it to be that spicy, but it's actually really good. Traditionally, you eat this with puto, but today I might be eating it with rice. Uh, I, I'll be... Uh, <laughs> Yes, it's a Thursday. I am eating rice because I won't be eating rice on the weekend. So, I'm sacrificing my rice day for this. Yeah, lechon is that good. Look at that. No, that was porky. We get a piece of the fat. This pork fat or pork skin. Mm. It's really good in Guan. You can taste the vinegar base of the adult of the saute. Technically it's like adobo. But it has a spicier note to it because of this chili. You can see this. Some people would just cut that in half and eat it with the dinuguan but for me dinuguan as is without that extra spice is great we get a big piece right here okay. mm. that's good dinuguan okay so let's move on to the relleno this is the crab relleno. Relleno means to stuff or stuff. Technically, they deshell the crab. If you remove meat from the bone, you debone it. Then technically, crabs are shell, so deshell it or deshell the crab. Remove all the meat from the crab and mix with a, mix it with I think egg or other stuff and then they stuff it back in and deep fry the whole thing look at that Ooh, it spins <laughs> look at that it spins okay so technically this is the crab carapace they're using uh, this is alimasag not alimango alimango is mud crab this is a blue shell crab so we'll give this one a try Break the seal 
Wait, I have to put my phone down and get a spoon for this. Sorry. Okay, bad guys. I thought this this is like I thought they were gonna be it's gonna be a mix of pork and crab. I think there's even some garlic in it. I love garlic. I thought it's gonna be a mix of pork and crab, but 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 what I can see here is basically crab. And more crab and I think this is I'm gonna get a bit of the crust oh well we eat the inside first it's orange like this because of the crab roll or alige or crab fat which is actually very high in cholesterol <laughs> sorry to say this guys but it's true but flavor wise it's incomparable so if you're gonna eat once in a while I think this is a very good indulgence. Look at that. It's nice and sweet. <clears throat> really crabby. Not too fishy though. It's nice. I wish it was a bit saltier. But it's really moist inside. We'll give it a try with that crust on the outside. See this? This is the crusty part. Look at that. We'll get some of the crust. Mm. Mm. They deshelled the crab really well. There's not a piece of shell in it. Except that big one. And you can really taste... I think they use... Yeah, they really used all the meat from the crab. This is pure crab, guys. Look at that. Mm. This is the best crab really I know. I've had in a while. Check the inside out. See? Nice and... Still nice and juicy in the middle. They serve this with their ketchup. But I don't think you need ketchup for it. It's that flavorful, okay? So let's move on to the main event, which is their lechon. Okay, guys. This is their lechon. First of all, let's check out their balat. Look at that. Lechon is basically whole roasted pig. And by what I saw on the window outside, the lechon is not that big. The younger pigs used for lechon is actually better than huge ones. Yes, the huge ones have yield, like you can feed like 40, 50 people with it. But the smaller ones tend to be tender, really tender. Like remember, if you serve suckling pig or cochinilla, also known as lechon de leche, it's small and it's so tender that you can cut it with a plate. Now. Juvenile pigs or pork has that same same aspect of tenderness, but it's more mature flavor. Okay, so we'll give this one a try. You can see that the skin is really nice and crispy. It's a bit of fat on it, and I love that. Look at that, it's glistening. That skin is like glass. Super thin. Nice and salty. But the flavor of it is nice. That's one really good crispy skin. Actually, there was a joke before that. <laughs> there was a one time someone delivered the lechon. They, they, they told them, Oh, what happened to the lechon? It's, well, I told him it's a formal event. That's why it came backless. It was wearing backless, which means they ate all the skin at the back. <laughs> it is just the meat. Most people prefer lechon. Lechon is good. 
no qualms about it. But given a choice, I always prefer crispy pata. You yeah, had the crispy, crispy skin, the gooey meat, and that collagen. Perfect. But lechon, this, oh yeah, by the way, this is Lija's lechon. This is a Tagalog style lechon. It's not like the Cebu style lechon that I tried before. It's a different kind of um, seasoning and marinade, and it has a certain flavor that's different from the Cebu style. I don't know what it is. And we will give it a try and try and differentiate the difference between this style of lechon and the Cebu style of this Nice fatty meat. This is from the belly area mm. Nice and tender There's a bit of cartilage on it, but I don't mind the cartilage, it's that good. It's more of a, I think they use, uh, I don't know the secret, uh, sorry, but I've seen people use dahon or, or leaves of, of bananas and this other leaf. It's not tanglad, I, I, I don't taste the lemongrass in it. They use a, what do you call this, sampalo clean for it. I don't know the difference, but I've seen people use that for lechon. Maybe this is something like that. But flavor-wise, it's totally like night and day compared to that Cebu style lechon, which is kind of salty. For me, any lechon, any fried or crispy lechon is something I'm looking forward, okay? Look at that. Nice and nice and juicy meat. We'll try it with their sauce. Wait, let me get the sauce. There it is. I think this is, I think they make this in-house. So we'll try it with that sauce. Look at that. Coats really well. Look at that. Ooh. That liver sauce is nice and creamy, not too, not too spicy, not too sweet. It's just right. Now let's try that with a bit of the skin. Look at this. This is what I call a perfect combination. You get a piece of the meat and the fat. And the skin so this is something else look at that coat it really well mm. I'm in tears guys this lechon so good I've missed eating lechon because I was looking for lechon in Boracay but I can't find any okay so I will finish my meal and then I'm going to take whatever I can home to my mom and uh, I'll give you the review afterwards. See ya. Okay guys, so I just finished my meal. And I'm going to give you the review. We're based on the five criteria. Location, ambiance, service, food, and price. So we'll start with location. Location is actually very accessible via public transportation along Ross Boulevard. It's actually near Baclaran Church. You can just walk here when you visit that church. It's very accessible via airport road and it's very near the airport so as soon as you land you can come straight here and have your lechon fix okay so i give that five out of five next we'll give the ambiance a review ambiance wise i give it five out of five why it's spacious it's actually very cool i'm just sweating like this because of that spicy sauce but 
it's actually very cool here not that hot and the seats are huge I can fit so there's a plus side and the music is not that loud and the TV is not that loud so it's perfect okay now let's talk about service service wise thank you Kuya. service wise I can give him 4.5 out of 5 why um, I have to say this but I don't like being stared at when I'm eating okay when I was eating I was doing my reviews and stuff there are a lot of um, staff always watching me it's actually kind of good because they can see if I need anything but staring at you while you're doing a review is kind of <laughs> kind of nerve-wracking okay so uh, 4.5 out of 5 but service wise when I mean services in they come whenever you need it and whenever you call on them they're all aces for me okay so let's move on to the food now the food my favorite believe it or not has to be the lechon it's not too fatty nice nice and tender they gave me the belly part which is my favorite and they have it has that certain flavor that's different from Cebu style lechon so I give them 5 out of 5 on that next to that I would have to choose that uh, crab reliano that was good nice and fatty it's just that I can't eat too much I, I might you know but still the alligator inside the crab reliano or the crab fat inside really flavorful Okay, my least favorite dish, believe it or not, had that dinigo, had to be that dinaguan. Yes, it's good dinaguan. I admit it is good dinaguan, but based on personal preference, I do not like liver. So you can't get perfect out of perfect if there's still liver in it. <laughs> okay. Now let's go on the price. All the dishes I ordered, I paid a little bit under 1,050 pesos, which is actually reasonable since that is really good lechon. And the assortment that I had was actually really good. And crab is not actually cheap, it's kind of expensive, but the flavor of that crab was. I really think that what I paid is worth it. So if I have a chance to come back here, I would, but I would definitely go for more lechon. If you can see, I have my kilo of lechon to take home to my mom. Okay? So, last but not least, I would like to greet Lid and Ma'am Lydia. Happy 53rd anniversary. More power to you guys. I'm sorry I wasn't here to, to try that. Um, 53 pesos for one third, uh, one fourth kilo of lechon. I would love that, but I was just too busy editing the previous vlog. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom Never Busog, on Twitter at Paul Always Gutom, and on Facebook at Always Gutom Never Busog. So till next vlog, tara kain tayo and lechon is the best. Oh, 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 oh,